St. Helens left and redoubtable Wigan came onto the field for Rugby League's biggest match of the year. And 95,000, the greatest invasion of the capital since the same event last year, saw St. Helens win the toss. So Wigan began the game, the always hard struggle at Wembley for the Rugby League Cup. They're hefty men, these professionals, putting into their robust play every ounce they've got, and most of them have plenty. Wigan have won the Cup at Wembley five times, St. Helens only once. After only four minutes' play, St. Helens were penalised. Griffiths took the kick beautifully and opened the scoring with two points for Wigan. Now St. Helens' turn. Standoff half Alex Murphy went over. That try was not converted. Three minutes before half time, Wigan were penalised. Rhodes scored for St. Helens. St. Helens led 5-2 at half-time. Their full-back, Austin Rhodes, kicked off after the interval. The restart was almost a repetition of the beginning of the match. Within five minutes, St. Helens incurred a penalty. Again, the South African, Fred Griffith, scored. Wigan were right back in the game. St. Helens now leading by only one point. For some minutes, Wigan were unmistakably the better side. 17 minutes after the interval came perhaps the best rugby league try Wembley's ever seen. Large pass to right wing three-quarter Tom van Bollenhoven and the South African star was able to put the ball down just where he liked. Rhodes easily converted. To make matters worse for Wigan, they were again penalised. Rhodes made no mistake. Very soon afterwards, St. Helens had a narrow escape. Then came another penalty for Wigan. Griffith scored. St. Helens won 12-6. So Vince Corelius led them to the Royal Box where Lord Derby presented the trophy. Bravo, St. Helens. Up for the cup and back home with it. Thank you.